In December 2018, the Gutenberg Block Editor introduced all WordPress users to the many benefits of block editors like front-end editing, easy-to-use interface, fast page building, and the ability to create responsive, multimedia-heavy layouts. Out of the many popular page builders out there, some developers prefer the WordPress Block Editor as it doesn't have any code bloat. Follow along if you want to learn everything about the Gutenberg Block Editor. If this video ends up being useful to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more WordPress and WooCommerce related topics. The Gutenberg editor is very intuitive and therefore, easy to learn. So let's start by creating a new post. This is the Gutenberg editor layout. At the top is the toolbar. The plus icon lets you add new blocks to your post. The Tools option lets you choose between Editing, and Selection Mode. The next two options are the Undo and Redo options so you don't have to worry about making mistakes. The Content Structure button gives you a summary of your content, while the Block Navigation button lets you find and edit blocks easily. Changes are automatically saved every 60 seconds in the Gutenberg Editor, but you can manually save using this button. The preview button shows us how our content will look on various screen sizes. The publish button pushes the content to the live website while the gear icon expands and minimizes the document and block options. Let's add a title to our post. Pressing the enter button will add a new block. What are blocks? The Gutenberg editor is called a block editor because it lets you add content block by block. These blocks can be added, removed, or edited without affecting other blocks. Gutenberg supports a wide range of blocks. You can add titles, text, images, videos, tables, lists, audio files, galleries, and even a classic editor block that lets us use the classic editor for editing. You can also design elements like buttons, columns, separators, and spacers. Widgets like shortcodes, calendars, and social icons expand your options even more. And finally, the Gutenberg editor offers a wide range of embeds, from YouTube videos to Spotify playlists. Apart from these inbuilt blocks, you can add more groups of blocks with plugins. For example, installing WooCommerce gives us access to 19 more blocks useful for building our e-commerce store. The Atomic Blocks plugin adds 15 unique blocks you could use in your posts, while the Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg plugin gives you access to well-designed useful blocks. You can even search for the blocks you need on editorblockswp.com. All links are in the description below. While using them, you may also notice that each block has different options to customize it according to your needs. If you want some help, you can go to the Patterns section to find templates for buttons, columns, galleries, headers, and more. Using patterns is as easy as clicking on them. You can then edit the templates according to your needs. but you can make similar blocks from scratch as well. There are three ways to add new blocks. By pressing enter to add a paragraph block. By pressing this plus icon and selecting a recently used suggested plugin or searching for one. Or through the add blocks button in the toolbar and browsing through the complete list of available blocks. Let's add an image. You can upload the image, select it from your library, or add it with a URL. Let's try the first one. Then select the file from your computer. We can resize the image like this. And add a caption below too. We can customize the image using this floating bar and the sidebar. Let's crop the image using this button. Click on the zoom option, adjust the slider, move the image, and click apply. In the sidebar, we can choose an image style. Add alt text. And change image size and dimensions. Let's add some columns below the image using the plus icon. Just search for column and click it. Then select a layout you want. We can now add other blocks in these columns using the plus icons. Let's click one and add a paragraph. You can format the text by simply selecting it. You can easily add a link to it as well. Click on the link icon and paste the URL. Choose whether you want the link to open in a new tab, 
and click Submit. In the sidebar, you can control the text size, color, and other options. Let's add a button in the right column. We can type and edit the button text just like normal text. In the right sidebar, we can customize the button style, color, and border. In the advanced section, the Gutenberg editor also lets you add HTML anchors and advanced CSS classes for the blocks. We can use the change alignment button to align the button to the right side of the page. We can also use this button to rearrange blocks that are side by side. As this is uneven, let's select the whole block and use center alignment. You can also use this button to rearrange blocks vertically. Clicking the three dots above each block also lets you copy and duplicate it, and add blocks above and below it. Using these features, you can structure and design your page very easily. One more tip to speed up your editing process is to save frequently used blocks as reusable blocks. Click on Add to Reusable Blocks. Then give the block a memorable name. And click Save. You'll see that a new tab has appeared in our blocks list named Reusable. Here, we can see all the blocks that we have saved as reusable blocks. Simply click on the one you want to import. You can add reusable blocks in any post and page. When you're done editing a post, click on the Document tab in the sidebar. We can select the post's publishing options like Visibility, Publishing Schedule, and Post Format. You can also add a permalink slug for the post to improve its search engine optimization. Below, you can assign the categories and tags applicable to the post. You also have the option to add the featured image and excerpt for the post. When a post appears on another page of your website, the featured image and excerpt are the only things visitors can see, so it's important to add them. Under the Discussions tab, you can allow readers to post comments on your post. And pingbacks and trackbacks can also be enabled here. As you add more plugins and themes, you may see more tabs added here. For example, we're using the Astra theme which gives us some additional layout and sidebar settings in the sidebar. When your post is ready, just hit the Publish button at the top to send it to the live website. And with that, you now know how to use the WordPress Gutenberg Block Editor. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.